that's a nice melody. All right, so uh, To Be With You went number one, which uh, it's a bit surreal. I mean, I always dreamed of, of being a big, big rock star, but to, to look down and uh, at the chart and see like Mr. Big and then somewhere down there is Mariah Carey and Michael Jackson. These, those were people I never dreamed of being in the, in this, on the same page with. You know, I, I was, you know, I, I thought, you know, I might have a chance of, you know, being on a tour with UFO or, or you know, the, the, those were the sort of the bands I grew up listening to. I didn't really expect to be with the big time pop people. And not that it lasted. I mean, it was, you know, two weeks of being number one and then, you know, we a couple other minor hits and we were kind of gone. But, uh, you know, for that brief time, I, ju I just noticed that the audience changed. You know, it went from the, the leather jacket, jean jacket guys to all of a sudden there were really young girls, I mean, like 12 year olds in the audience. And, you know, I'm happy to play for 12 year old girls, but it was not the audience I was used to. And, and I think they weren't necessarily used to us either, because right after To Be With You, we'd, you know, rip into some heavy metal tune. But uh, in the end, I think, I think it was great, because, you know, after the initial shock, they would go like, hey, this is all right. And, and so uh, I think we, we could, you know, sort of, I don't know if educate is the right word, but we could turn some people on to, uh, you know, we could turn the To Be With You people on to, uh, you know, some heavier stuff. And... Uh, Overall, that that record lean into it. It was it was really a satisfying record. It was I really my own goal with that record was to write more melodically. You know, the first Mr. Big album certainly had some melodies, but um, you know when we went out and played that out al that album live, the first album, I always felt like it wasn't connecting to the audience melodically as much as it could. So um, you know that inspired me to write you know stuff like the Green Tinted Sixties Mind. The just melodic stuff. I mean, it's still, you know, athletic guitar stuff. So it was satisfying as a guitar player to play it. But, um, you know, it was, it was, uh, it was catchy. And, and that's, that's what we, what we wanted to do in that whole record is, is uh, you know, have stuff that was still valid as a rock band, but, you know, would, would catch the air a little more. So a lot more harmonies in that record. And we went out and toured with that one and it, and, and it absolutely connected. You know, it went, you know, completely blew up in Japan. And uh, even the rest of the world did great too.